Okay. Doing a little documentation here. The numbers on the gear were facing this way on this one. I don't know if any of this matters. Uh, on this one, the numbers were facing out. This is the back side of the counter shaft. And on this one, the numbers were facing front. So you could see the numbers from the front and from the back. And on this one, you could not see the numbers because they, they would have been obscured by this anyway, but they were on this side. Again, I don't know if any of this makes any difference at all. Uh, all this came out, the hammer on it met the way they show in the FSM. I don't know, that didn't seem to work out so well. So again, I just pulled, used the puller. I used to pull the main shaft. I think I used these two holes here. One's a, a uh, shift fork hole, and the other one is the oil uh, gutter hole. And I just pushed it out. Uh, actually, I guess it's from this direction here. <laughs> no, it has to be from the... Yeah. Yeah. From this side here. Isn't this dumb? I can't remember which way it goes. It has to be this side. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, probably probably spun it around. So I uh, put the, the puller here, put the ends of it, and just basically... Uh, push the shaft out. I'm sorry, I put it like this. I push the shaft out that way. This bearing stayed trapped because of the way it's designed. This one kind of, on a counter shaft, doesn't have any trap. And what I did was, as I was pushing this one out, the main one, the gears will kind of interfere with each other. So you have to kind of do them both at the same time. You do a puller, you push it a little bit here. You use the puller on this for the puller on this one. I think I used um, this one here and. Uh, what's the other one? And this two right here. And I pushed this out until they kind of got loose enough to where it just fell. I eventually, you have, but you have to go little steps at a time because the gears will jam up. And once you get the bottom one, come it, it comes out with the whole. It came out with the whole bearing. It was out of the way. Then it was real easy to press this one the rest of the way. Um, I used the bearing puller to separate the bearings. That's what I got over here. One thing you have to watch out for is the main gear here has a washer and a little ball. And I'm not sure where that ball interacts with, but it goes right here. And I did save it. It's in that tray right there. So again, I'm not sure if there's a slot for that thing that fits into the gear. I'm not seeing it. Is there a slot on this? Yeah, I really don't know what its function is to tell you the truth. Maybe it's a spacer of some kind. I don't know. I have to think about that. But there's a tiny little ball that goes right there. And you don't want to lose that, obviously. And uh, more disassembly to come. Thanks for watching. It's more picture to document and everything.